Hello everyone, this is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot SCCM clients not reporting to SCCM site server. It could be a lot of issues um, when SCCM client is not reporting. Um, so in this video, I just want to high, I just want to highlight the the um, the most common issues or the the first thing you need to look at when troubleshooting a SCCM client. All right, let's get started. So I created a few steps here. Oops, let me move this. So first thing you need to do is check the boundaries. And the second thing is service account. Uh, CCM setup logs show success and view a bunch of logs. So now let's look at boundaries. So if I have a client um, that has SCCM installed, but it does not have, if I click on configurations, it only have two items here under action. So it has the, the first two items and nothing else. That means SCCM client, the agent is installed, but it does not, it has not received a policy from management point or from configuration manager server. So the first thing you need to do is uh, look at the boundaries. So the boundary of my um, desktop here, let's go to CMD and type in IP config. So that's the boundary. Um, I'm using the IP range or IP subnet uh, 10.99.82. So the boundary here must be added to configuration manager. And if I go to configuration manager, And go to administrations under boundaries. Oh, I'm sorry, under hierarchy configuration, and there's boundaries. So you must create a boundaries based on based on IP subnet, Active Directory site, IP ranges, any way you want. So in my case, see, I create a boundary called um, it's under IP subnets. Once you created the boundary subnets or the boundaries, you need to create a boundary groups. So this boundary is a member of this boundary group. And if I go to boundary groups, I go to properties, reference, you want to make sure you check this box, use this boundary group for site assignment. It's going to assign to the primary site. Make sure you check this box. So that's the very first thing you need to check. Um, it's the boundary groups. And the second thing is the service account. Make sure your site server is a member of the local administrator of the computer. If you go to a computer, computer management, either your site server or the service account, it needs to be a member of the global, uh, local administrator on the workstation. Groups, administrator. So my serv the service account is a domain admins. So it is there. That's the second thing you need to check. The third thing is um, you want to look at the log files, right? Let me uh, go into the share of this workstations. The log files you want to look at is go to under Windows CCM. 
logs one of them is cas c a s with cas it should tells you what um server is connect to as you can see here the dp it has all the information you should see something like that it should connect to your distribution point another one is also exec.mgr and if if there's a package you should see um an installation package um, that is running in this case i have this application install client location and it shows you um, active directory for us it's currently in so you look at those logs files and make sure um, and the number of log files should be over at least 140s if you have less than that maybe under 100 that means your SSM agent is not communicating okay so that's the log files what is the next one oh, I'm sorry I skipped it um, so I went to number four first before I went to number three so you want to look at the CCM setup log you want to make sure it's successfully installed and if I go back to this CCM setup you want to go to logs exec MGR uh, CCM setup look at the last line it should say exit code is zero that means successfully installed so again um, your configuration manager should have all the tasks and the actions uh, file collection type hardware inventories these items here should um, should show up once your SSM client is communicated another thing you can do is do a site click on site tab and verify if it sees your, um, your SSM site click on configuration site and click find uh, site it should say successfully found your site so that's the high level of um, configuring or troubleshooting SCCM client when it's not communicating with your SCCM site server. Thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel will cover Configuration Manager, Office 365, Azure Active Directory, and anything related to SCCM um, software deployment, uh, Windows, Windows 10 deployment, etc. Thank you and have a good day.